All right, so this is going to be our reaction to what Chris Haynes, a reporter, I believe, on TNT, had to say about the playing tournament. And I think he brought up a valid point that others are probably thinking as well. And he asked this question to the Inside the NBA crew. So this is what he had to say, and you'll see more. Now, guys, before I leave, I'd like to pose a question, something that's been bothering me. I take your attention to the Eastern Conference play-in situation. And as you see, Miami has the eighth seed. They are six and a half games ahead of the ninth seed, Chicago, and they are eight games ahead of Atlanta. My question is, should there be a win range where a team that says, say they're five games ahead of the next team, should they get an automatic berth into the playoffs? So this is basically what he was talking about, right? Where you see the Miami Heat and there are a few games above the Hawks and the Bulls and even the 76ers themselves. and. You know, if this was me on a sports team in some type of competitive league and I had the seventh, eighth seed and I know that I could lose it to a team that I have a much better record than or I'm just better, I would be like, man, that kind of sucks. But I do think he has a point. And I do believe if this continues to happen where you have the seventh and eighth seed that has a clearly much better record than the ninth and the tenth and they're losing their playoff spots, then you will see more of this conversation arise. But I'm going to continue and play Charles Barkley and Shaq's response and Ernie and Kenny the Jet as well. Uh, you know what? It, it kind of goes back to the bubble. Remember the first time when they, when they were in the bubble and they said, if you were within this many games, then yeah, you can play in it was a couple of teams. Yeah. So, but I don't know. What Ernie's saying is very important. Let's remember that when the NBA came back due to the pause when COVID hit, there were still some regular season games left. But they decided to take the 22 teams that mathematically still had a chance to make the playoffs and end the season with just eight games within that bubble for the regular season. And they basically said at the end of that, if you were a ninth seed team and you were four games within the eighth seed, then the eighth seed and the ninth seed would play for that final spot. And that's how the playing tournament eventually came about. Oh, just so you can't change the rules, Mr. Kim. <clears throat> no, he said, would you change it in the future? So I, I would think that there should be. I think that is. I think if I'm 15, 10 no. games ahead of the guys. Yeah, but I'm, what? But what if? I think it's double if, digits. What if nine and ten? What if nine is only a game behind eight and ten is ten games behind? Then do you say? I just say double digits. Listen, Chuck. I'm Chuck, double digits ahead. I'm in. Chuck said it the best. It shouldn't even be a playing situation. Let's just go back to the old school one through eight. I think there's a lot of current players right now in the NBA who probably agree with what Shaq and what Kenny is saying. But it's harder for them to speak out while still playing in the NBA because you are in a league that is obviously trying to promote themselves, brand themselves along with the media and implement these kind of different things that will make it more interesting for fans. Then on the flip side, if you're a former player on inside the NBA, you are now getting paid to give commentary of the game rather than being a product of it. It's a huge difference and now you have more room to truly say what you feel. Not complete room, but just a little bit more space if you understand what I'm saying. I think, like, it, I think it's put so added yeah, some but, juice there. Yeah, it made all the games at the end of the year valuable. Yeah, but if your team is not good enough from one to eight, you shouldn't be in the playoffs. Seven, eight, don't hey, matter. Miami went from play into the finals last year. Okay, but don't my, my have an issue. Year. I want to quickly point out that last year, Miami, they were in the playing tournament, but originally they were in the seventh seed and they ended up losing and they had to battle out to get the final eighth seed spot. So if it was still the regular format they would have just been in the seventh seed and still made the playoffs so i think that's important to acknowledge however i will say if there's one thing that makes it a lot more exciting when it comes to the playing tournament strictly from a fan perspective is the fact that i know towards the regular season the playoff spots are not guaranteed and it is interesting to see who will fight out to get that final spot but from a player's perspective i could totally understand why they are against this and they wouldn't want it Silver is, is a good dude and a great commissioner because the in-season tournament turned out fantastic and the play-in has been good. Yes, it has. The players has been good. So you got to give that band his kudos. But the, the pick up the, on Chris's point, you can't change the rules every time something don't work out. This was an interesting take from Charles Barkley because as of recently, he called out what he said were sister networks who many people believe he was alluding to ESPN for constantly promoting Lakers versus Warriors because of the whole LeBron and Steph Curry dynamic. 
And basically saying that, man, these teams aren't that good. We should be talking about other teams. And he even said that the playing tournament was designed to help them still make the playoffs. They should, they should, think, Adam, Adam, they should stop. They should, think, they should thank Adam Silver for making up some stuff. Hey, let's just add a couple of teams to the playoffs so the Lakers and Warriors can get in. <laughs> so Thanks for watching as always. And let me know what you think about the video. Do you agree with what Chris Haynes is saying with the playing tournament and just your overall thoughts about it? Peace.